Snoop's 2006 album, The, the Blue Carpet Treatment, debuted on the Billboard 200, number 5. Oh, my bad, excuse me. He made history. On July 7th, 2007, Snoop Dogg performed at the Live Earth concert. Hang on, wait, no, I'm trying to figure out where it was. Sorry for the interruption, Snoop Rob. <laughs> excuse me. He released his ninth studio album, Ego Trippin', along with his first single, Sexual Eruption. The single peaked at number 7 on the Billboard 100. Snoop was appointed next an executive position at Priority Records. His 10th studio album, Malice in Wonderland, was released on December 8th, 2009. The first single from the album, Gangsta Louvre, Featuring The Dream peaked at number 35 on the Billboard Hot 100. The album debuted at number 23 on the Billboard 200. Selling 601,000 copies, it's for me making it his lowest charting album. His third single, I Wanna Rock, peaked at number 41 on the Billboard Hot 100. The fourth single from Malice in Wonderland titled Pronto featuring Suja... Boy Tell Him was released on iTunes on December 1st, 2010. Snoopy released the album under the name More Malice. Snoop collaborated with Katy Perry <clears throat> on California Girls, the first single from her teenage album Teenage Dream, which was released on May 11, 2010. Snoop can also be heard on the track Flashing by Dr. Dre and on <clears throat> Currency Song. Excuse me, Seat Change. He was also featured on a new single from Australian singer Jessica Malboy titled Get Em Girls. Released September 2010. Snoop's latest effort was backing American recording artist Emmy on her second single entitled Mr. Romeo. Released October 26, 2010 as a follow-up to Magic. Snoop also collaborated with American comedy Troupe. Or true, I don't know. The Lonely Island and their song Turtleneck and Shade in their 2011 album Turtleneck and Shade. Snoop Dogg's 11th studio album and documentary. The album went through several tentative titles, including Doggy Style 2. The documentary and document music before being released under the final title documentary in March 2011. Snoop was featured on Gorilla's latest album, Plastic Beach. On a track called Welcome to the World of the Plastic Beach with the hippo hypnotic brass of a sun ensemble. He also completed another track with them entitled Something Like This Night, which does not appear on Plastic Beach, yet does appear on Documentary. Let me look for an important one. In December of 2012, Snoop released his second single from Reincarnated, Here Comes the King. It was also announced that Snoop worked a deal with RCA Records to release Reincarnated in early 2013. Also in December 2012, Snoop wrote Dog released uh, That's My Work Cloud Room Rap Mixtape with the Dog Man. Two thousand fourteen to the present, Bush. In August of two thousand fourteen, a clip surfaced online featuring a sneak preview of a new song Snoop had recorded for Pharrell, which was released on his new album. Snoop's Pharrell Williams produced album Bush was released on May twelfth, two thousand fifteen, with the first single Peaches and Cream having been released on March tenth, two thousand fifteen. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video, Snoop Rob. Thank you for watching. Bye.